All right, got all three subs here. Got everything wired up. I mean, this right here, this is some cheap, crappy wire. I mean, it's obviously it's just my test wire. That's it. Um, this is a wire I'm going to be using. Some nice, thick speaker wire. And I have all my connectors and everything in here I'm going to be using when I uh, wire it in the box. But anyways, um, basically, to drop it down for 4 ohm to 2 ohm, I follow the one diagram that um, Scott um, posted. And I basically did, you know, um, a, a negative to positive, you know, on each speaker, negative to positive, negative to positive. Then all the negatives, negative, um, negative, and negative are all together on one wire. The red wire is running to my um, meter. And then I got, um, on this one, I got, um, positive, positive, and positive run to this one, one wire here. And this black wire right here, going up, is run to my, um, uh, multimeter. And you can see what I got now. With all three subs, 2.3 ohms. So, I'm good. Appreciate it so much, Scott. You're the man, dude. Wish you were closer, you know. Be cool. You know, if I had someone closer that knew about this stuff, because I obviously don't have anyone around me that knows anything about it. And the one buddy that I did, he's a dealer for, um, I think, DC Audio. But he, let, he moved to Tennessee. But I pretty much got it. You know, I'm happy. Now I have to unhook all this, um, wire, solder all my connectors onto the ends. Then I'm actually going to solder them right onto the um, prongs. And I'll be good to go. But I'm going to do it in the box, though. <laughs> Don't want to end up having shorter wires than I need. So I appreciate it again, dude. Thanks, man.